Welcome to AWS What's New. I'm Jeff Barr, and I've got three great launches to share with you today. AWS Amplify helps you to, to build web and mobile applications that are scalable and secure. While we've launched new Amplify libraries and tools for iOS and for Android. These libraries are native, and they're focused on use cases, including authentication, data storage, machine learning, and so forth. You access the libraries via declarative, high-level interfaces. They make it even easier for you to add a cloud-based backend to your mobile application. To learn more, check out Sebastian's blog post for details and for lots and lots of source code. Next up, Amazon Neptune is a graph database that you can use to store highly connected data sets. Neptune scales easily to billions of relationships and is really easy to query. You can use this for applications like fraud detection, knowledge graphs, recommendation systems, and lots more. What's new? an updated Neptune console. It's even easier to create a database cluster. It ha there's templates for common use cases. You can add tags to your cluster as you create it. You can also choose the instance type for your Neptune notebooks. This is really cool tech and something you should definitely learn more about. Now, finally, you can now bring your own IPv6 addresses to your virtual private cloud. Virtual private cloud, or VPC, is an important part of AWS. It's been around since about 2009. It lets you create an isolated set of EC2 instances and then connect them to your existing network. With this new launch, you get more flexibility as you bring your existing IPv6 addresses to your VPC. You can either advertise them for public use or you can keep them to yourself for private connectivity. This really important new feature is available for you to use in 12 AWS regions. Thank you so much for watching. That's all we've got for you this time around. Send me an email, send me a tweet, let me know what you thought, subscribe, Tell all your friends, stay safe, and we'll see you again sometime soon.